What's going on guys, Late Strands here, coming at you with another commentary today, and we are playing some Black Ops 3, as you can tell. Uh, got a couple different uh, gameplays here, one's, one's using the SVG, and the other's using the P06, or the the, po the Posh, I don't know, if some, that's what I heard someone call it, but uh, yeah, we're playing some Black Ops 3 today, because, well, it's a weird COD season, uh, the Infinite Warfare and MWR and everything. I, I just hit 20th uh, Prestige on MWR, which I was super psyched about. <laughs> like, I, had, I felt very accomplished. I had not gone that far prestige-wise in a Call of Duty um, since, like, MW3, I think. And I, even in MW3, I think I only went to 5th or 6th, maybe 7th. Um, but I never went the full route. I just never wanted to, really. I mean, I always played with the different people and everything, but... Um, you know, it, uh, I just never wanted to go that far and, and bring it to that, that point, but uh, I did this time and it was pretty fucking awesome, and I did 20 goddamn prestiges. I don't know why I uh, why I did that, but yeah. Got to Black Ops 3, it's been the weird COD season, so a lot of YouTubers are hopping back into multi-COD, um, so I figured I'd maybe do a little bit of that um, with some Black Ops 3. It, so, I never really got all the way into year one of this game, I, I got it in the summertime uh, after it came out and I just never never got into it all the way um, but and I kinda regret it because this was definitely a better COD than I remember it being um, I mean like just overall it, I played a lot of Advanced Warfare when that came out and obviously that that soured on me pretty quickly uh, but but yeah I really never gave this game my full attention or effort and, and that's probably why I was never uh, too into it to begin with but uh, overall, it's been a good time lately with, with multi-cod. I've, I've had a lot of fun. Had a little bit of Black Ops 2 stuff um, to show, but I don't, I don't know where it went. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, it got me thinking too, because I, I really only used the Locust um, to when I played this to, to begin with. But I started branching out and using the SVG, obviously, in the PO6, which I enjoy the hell out of using. These are fun-ass guns to use. Um, it got me thinking, like, what was the best sniper in COD? Like, the, which COD had the best snipers overall? Like, because this game has, what, the SVG, the Locust, um, you know, the PO6, or the RSA, I like using it. It's kind of fun to use, but it is frustrating as all hell. Um, like, those are, those are pretty good sniper rifles, you know, um, but if you want to go to, like, MWR real quick, um, like COD 4, uh, the M40A3, R700, bear 50 cal. Two bolt actions and a semi-auto. That, that's pretty great, I thought. That's a pretty good set of snipers. And uh, I'll skip over World at War, just for the sake of the game wasn't great, like multiplayer-wise for sniping. Um, but MW2, Intervention, Barrett, great guns. Only two of them, though. You got the M21, the EBR, uh, like, right, and the WA, or some shit. Yeah, and the... But you had, then you go to MW3, um, you know, Black, I mean, Black Ops 1, the L96, and the, and the PSG were great, but the sniping was just so nerfed, so nerfed, um, it is just not fun to play sometimes. Uh, but yeah, MW3 then had, in my opinion, the best set of snipers you could have possibly asked for. You had two one-shot uh, bolt actions, MSR and L11. You had the Barrett and the AS50, which were both semi-auto. Both kick ass, both high power. Uh, I think the AS50 didn't have that much fire, like uh, fire rate or like uh, I think like ammo or something. Like the clip size is really small. I'm, if I remember correctly, I don't, I don't remember. But uh, you had all those, and then you had like the the RSASS and the Dragonov, which were pretty good variations of like semi-auto snipers uh, for Call of Duty. A lot better than let's say the Dragonov and, and MWR, or, uh, MW2's EDR. You know, but it's a uh, I think that just had the best variations because, you know, Black Ops 2 had, uh, you know, the Ballista and DSR are, are great, but uh, it's really only two of them. But, and I don't think I'll stop there because cause there's the Morse and the Atlas and, and AW, which I I love both of those guns, but uh, yeah, I won't even talk about Infinite Warfare sniping, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know, it just got me thinking about that, and, and that's that's something I do like about Black Ops 3 in the multi-cod year right now is I have a lot of options um, and what kind of videos to make and what what clips to go for because um, on a daily basis I can I can try to come up with something a little bit new uh, like I you know using the PO6 here like the RSA um, and 
it can be fun. It can be a lot, a lot of fun, especially when you have a, a game like Infinite Warfare where you don't really play it that much. Um, it's just for the sake of, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, there's always something new to do. It seems like in COD, um, but uh, there's something new to do every day. There always is. Plus, we got Zombie Chronicles coming out. I'm stoked about that. Uh, summer's coming up, so got my birthday in like a week or so. So it should be a good time. I uh, got the montages in the works. Trending now is actually heading to getting towards the uh, getting at these clips here uh, for a leftovers video and a, uh, a montage video. So I'm excited about that. Um, I really want to push these zombie chronicle videos out when they when when they come out. So hopefully you guys will see like a full team, full teams of four uh, on the channel for that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. I'm gonna go kick it, and uh, I hope you have a good day. Peace.